Hi Aries, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul, Bounce and this is your Love and Romance reading for July 2018. It is a bonus reading along with the, uh, the, the normal monthly one that I do which is already out on my YouTube channel so don't forget to check that one out as well for your star sign. And just remember this is a general reading so take from it what you will, leave what doesn't resonate. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, I'll leave the link on this video and in the description box below. And if you'd like to win a 30 minute personal reading with me, just pop over to my uh, blog uh, on the homepage. There's a monthly competition. When you subscribe to my blog, you not only get lots of other great content, coupons and special offers you won't get anywhere else, plus another bonus tarot reading. And uh, if you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. And uh, let's get started with your reading. So first up, we're going to be having a look at your heart and soul energy by uh, the heart and soul energy cards by Tony Carmine Salerno. And let's see what you need to know, Aries. Someone wants to come out for you. And look at it. It's so beautiful. It's got, you, could either, you could either interpret that as wings of the dove. It's two doves there or actual angel wings. Lots of uh, stars and love hearts on that one. And what it says, Aries, is close your eyes and feel yourself embraced by angelic wings of light. Feel the light dissolve your fears, your concerns and doubts and fill your heart with peace and joy. Everyone is, is safe and all is well. There is no need for concern. Beautiful. All right, let's see what you need to know about uh, love and romance with the, the uh, romance angel deck by uh, Doreen Virtue. And uh, this one wants to come out for you straight away, Aries. Okay, so you pulled the retreat card. So there's a couple in this, uh, in a very loving embrace, but they've got their back turned on the world. So if you're in a relationship, it's about taking that time out uh, for the pair of you, some quiet time out, just to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with each other. If you're single, it's about taking time out for self, taking the focus off romance for a while and just working on your own self-care, self-love, self-nurturing. When you do that, you not only raise your vibration, you become much more attractive uh, to romantic partners when you do that work. And you're so much more confident and uh, so much brighter and energetic. And I just have to say to you, it's awesome. So the advice here is if couples take some time out for the pair of you together alone. And uh, if you're single, take time out for self-care. All right, these two so want to come out. <laughs> okay. So you pulled uh, romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. So for those of you that have met someone new and you're going, oh, I don't know. Well, give it a bit of a go. Check them out a bit more. Um, trust your intuition, your own inner guidance as to what your feelings are. Don't hold yourself back. Hmm. And just know that great love is worth waiting for. Divine timing is happening in your love life right now. So if you are single and you're sitting on the sidelines going, okay, so when, when is my great love coming? Well, there might be some stuff you need to clear up first. There might be um, just know that when you're ready, it'll arrive. It's uh, just saying it's worth waiting for. It also means, this card also means not getting engaged in relationships that are not really satisfying for you or do not fulfill your love and romance needs. It's being mindful and discerning about what your love choices are and waiting for the right relationship, the right person to come along. Beautiful. What else do you need to know, Aries? Your cards are just flipping out. Oh, yeah. Not only got romantic feelings. If you've met somebody new, passion, there's lots of passion. It can also be that you're uh, in your existing relationship. Uh, two of you are very attracted to each other. Just says to allow that passion to come out, allow yourself to feel it, embrace it, go with the flow. Just be, be. Going to make you joyful. Going to pull you one more. And again, it's often about going with the flow, not trying to force things, control things, control the outcomes, just go with the flow. Yeah, a lot of you are calling in your soulmate. So you've been putting out to the universe. And if you haven't been and you want that soulmate to come in, please put it out to the universe, what it is you'd like to attract to you. Um, it's going to help bring 
bring you together and often when you have a really clear idea about what type of relationship and what values you'd like in a partner you do become more discerning in your choices and you do attract the kind of people that you want to attract to you I will say to you that if you've uh, if you've been stumbling up in love and romance and uh, you've got possibly some stuff to clear clear up or you're not sure why you're not the love and romance isn't working out for you I do have a four-part series on my Vimeo channel, The Top Four Secrets to Attracting a Soulmate. It covers all kinds of things like uh, how to know if you've got weak boundaries and weak boundary settings, tripping up your love relationships, also how to let go of the past, particularly exes and all that kind of stuff, and also just any residual feelings that might be you might be holding on to so that you can let new love in. And how to build up your self-esteem so you're ready, your self-confidence, your sense of self-worth, so you're ready, ready for that great love to come in and lots more. So I'll pop the link on this video. You can head across and just check out the trailer. Uh, so you, you make that decision yourself in terms of uh, what you'd like to do. But uh, the content's there if you're interested in learning more about how to draw that soulmate to you. Okay, now I'm going to pull you. A crowning energy from the roomy oracle and this is going to be it's either going to be about your energy specifically something that you just need to know right now it's going to carry you through uh, in terms of July uh, let's have a clear message please mm -hmm. okay it can be to do with any aspect of your life not just love and romance you've got if I bring that closer so beautiful you pulled the whirling goddess and the uh, Rumi Oracle are by Alana Fairchild they have the most amazing messages it's number 30 if that means anything to you oh yeah I'll show it to you one more time so beautiful and what it says Aries is Lose your head, not a single thread that has a head can go through the eye of a needle, Rumi. Sometimes these are really quirky. Come, my love, are you dizzy yet? If you can still find your feet, then it's okay with me. But if you can still find your head, then I will take issue. There is a great dance, but it cannot be danced with choreographed steps. The great dance demands a response rather than an initiation, a reaction rather than a direction. So let us dissemble and lose our heads to the great music. The rhythm held steady in our beating hearts. Our feet shall be moving whilst our minds, inadequate to the task, shall take the night off. There is some, somewhere you are meant to be. It is here now in this moment. There is a gift right under your nose and fragrant wine in your glass, gleaming red as the most precious rubies. To be here now, you must pass through the keyhole. But your head will tell you this is not possible unless the door is unlocked. Even though your body is already passing through the keyhole of that locked door into the endless world beyond. Leave your mind with its struggles for a moment. Without you laying witness to it, your mind has, will become like a dog howling for its master's return. Even just as he steps out the front door. Frustrated temporarily, he will chew on some shoes, then fall asleep peacefully until his master returns. So leave your mind trusting, chewing a little until you're truly through the keyhole where it can rest. Leave it be instead, come dance with me. This oracle brings you a message. You are at the point of growth where your mind can hold you back rather than urge you forward. If you have, like so many, used your mind to support you, to shore up your sense of the world and to gain a sense of certainty, about how the world works, then this is no easy leap. It will seem as though you're being asked to pass through the keyhole. Of course, your mind will stop and argue for all the reasons why the door should be opened instead of remaining closed. Making the task seem so much harder than it needs to be, but this is the mind in resistance. You are being asked to dance rather than to understand, to lay those thoughts to rest and to come alive. It is the bravest, most trusting soul that dares to put the mind to one side and say, tonight we dance, my heart and I, in the great rousing music of the beloved's beating heart, and I will not miss one step. And to awaken the next day and do that all over again and again and again. 
You are ready, you see, sweet soul dancer. You are ready to live beyond what you know, to have it not matter if you understand how life can work itself out or how it could be that someone so normal and ordinary as you and I could be so magnificent, wild and divine. The need for answers and plans, assurances and explanations is passing out of your world now. You are not to wait for permission, for explanation or even for another dance partner. For I am already inviting you on the great dance floor. You are to let go of any stigma around not knowing and when someone asks you what you're going to do next or how you're going to manage, you are given this divine mandate with relish. Reveal the truth. I do not know. Know nothing and dance, sweet soul, for all will unveil itself to you in the perfect harmony and timing. Your heart shall create the steps in response to the music of the spheres happening now, alive and spontaneous and free. This oracle brings you a special message. If there is an issue apparently unsolvable or unknowable in your life right now, the divine is handling it. Trust the divine is in the middle of it, working through the knot and unraveling it. Fear not, do the sacred ritual and give yourself permission to take the night off from worry. Repeat this heavenly prescription as needed. And uh, the sacred honouring ritual, Aries, what it says is, say aloud, I give my heart permission to lead this dance and I give my mind some time off. No more worry or doubt, planning or resisting. Instead, I surrender. Instead, I open. Instead, I allow, I allow, I allow. And all unfolds with perfection, divine timing and the miracle of grace. With Rumi as my sole witness, so be it. You have completed your sacred honouring ritual. I'm just going to pull something out for you. Oh, you did get divine timing. It's happening in your love life right now. It's all about being present, passionate, a little wild if you want to be. Yeah, letting go of control. You're always in charge, of course. You're always in control of your own destiny and your own actions and responses. Wow, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you liked it, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Don't forget, if you want that personal reading with me, link is on this video and below. And if you want to win that personal reading, go into the draw. I'll leave that link here as well. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.